Hey, you all know that I am Aurora Day, and this is the Secured Entrepreneur Movement. Happy Money Monday, happy Money Monday. Today, I'm answering your questions about these real estate investment trusts, okay? So two ladies emailed, and thank you for emailing us. Please continue to do that at info at auroradayconsulting.com. So these two ladies are saying, they have, they have really learned a very valuable lesson in this particular COVID-19 pandemic, uh, seeing as they do not qualify for any of the emergency relief money, okay? And so now they're looking into ways to bring in passive income. They really do want to be in the real estate arena. However, they do not have the funds to now invest in properties, okay? so. The answer to your questions, are real estate investment trusts right for right now? The answer is yes. And I do say that they are especially great for women simply because it's harder for women to take risks, risks that would really hurt, you know, hurt them financially, harm them financially because most women are raising uh, children by themselves and they're out here working jobs, trying to support a business all at the same time, it doesn't work. So you do need to make investments that are a little bit safer than the average type of um, aggressive investing, okay? And then also a gentleman did come onto YouTube and ask for us to talk about these real estate investment trusts. So I want you all to remember that when Miss Aurora was stuck up in the mountains, snowed up in the mountains, I came live to answer Yasmin's question about these real estate investment trusts because she realized that there were a few different types she was a little, you know, she wasn't really sure what direction to go. So I came on with the four types of real estate investment trust. So let's start there right now so that for those of you who are new to rights, real estate investment trust, let's go over the four types right now. Okay, cool on some of these resources so yes 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 and yes i'm saying yes to real estate investment trusts why first of all it does not take a whole lot of money to start investing in real estate investment trusts also i think it's an excellent idea simply because you want to start creating some residual income for yourself while you are building your businesses okay so i'm going to break down the four types of real estate investment trust so that you are fully aware when you come out here and you start investigating and you start looking at these etfs you start looking at some of the you know some of these companies on the stock exchanges okay because you can buy real estate investment trusts through a broker of course okay you can you can go online and get on to get some mutual funds because we do have real estate investment trust mutual funds and we do have real estate investment trust uh, ETFs okay so the first real estate investment trust that I'm going to talk about right now is uh, our equity uh, real estate investment trust so these are real estate investment companies that invest in residential property, commercial properties, you know, hospitality properties, complexes, you know, a whole slew of real estate. And the beauty behind these real estate investment trusts and how you come up, how you catch the wind, is that they are required by law to give 90% of their taxable income to the shareholders as a dividend annually. Okay, this is why real estate investment trusts are so attractive to investors and they are very attractive to entrepreneurs such as myself <laughs> because they are not howdy. <laughs> Howdy, thank you for joining me, Maximilian, okay? So we're talking about real estate investment trust today, and the first one was the equity real estate investment trust. And as I stated, these are real estate companies who that own a plethora, a large portfolio of real estate. And once you invest in these companies, they are required to pay you 90% of their taxable income annually, all right? And the second I'm going to talk about, let's see, we have mortgage real estate investment trusts. So these are, these mortgage real estate investment trusts uh, consist of real estate investment companies that finance 
they finance income producing real estate and mortgage backed securities. Okay. And so what's happening is that when you invest with these real estate investment trust companies, okay, you are also uh, getting in on the income that they're getting by producing these these mortgages for these properties and and buying these mortgage backed securities. All right. Once again, ninety percent of the taxable income. All right, is is being handed to you as a dividend because you are a shareholder in that real estate investment trust company. All right, and I'm going to go back to the equity because I know I'm going to get this question. The equity uh, real estate investment trust, they are earning their income because they are collecting rents. These are contractual rents that they are collecting from all of the real estate. Okay. People are renting office buildings every day. People are renting uh, homes. People are renting apartments and apartment complexes and all of the rent that they are collecting as taxable income comes to the shareholder 90% as I stated as a dividend annually. All right. So that was the equity and we talked about the mortgage real estate investment trust. So the third would be the private real estate investment trust. Now, Jasmine, you asked about this one and the reason why people are telling you, you know, it's not the safest bet. It's not the safest bet because private real estate investment trusts are not monitored, tracked or traced the way equity and mortgage real estate investment trusts are because private real estate investment trusts are not traded on any stock exchange. So you really can't do the proper research that you would need to do as it, as it relates to their 52 week average. You know, you're not really sure about the management of the company. You cannot get the information that you would get about a real estate investment trust company. Uh, you know, like a, a, a mortgage, a mortgage real estate investment trust company and an equity real estate investment trust company, because these, th those two, are registered with the Securities Exchange Commission. Okay, so you can get all of the information that you need about that company, about what's been going on with that company annually. You can get their annual report, anything that you need to know to make an informed decision. You can do that with mortgage and equity real estate investment trust companies, but you cannot do that with private real estate investment trust companies because they are not registered with the Securities Exchange Commission. So it's kind of like anything goes. Also, with the uh, mortgage real estate investment trust company, a a along with the equity real estate investment trust company, when you go with the brokerage, there are no commissions. You would not pay any commissions on those, but the private real estate investment trust companies, you would pay, you know, commissions on that. So it's not very attractive. And then the last would be the public non listed real estate investment trust company. So what that means is that they are registered with the Securities Exchange Commission. However, they are not traded on any stock exchange. Okay. However, because they are listed, they are registered with the Securities Exchange Commission, you will be able to do your due diligence as it relates to finding out how, how much money you, 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 you can make on an annual basis, uh, how much the shares are, you know, things of that nature. Okay. Now, once again, as I, as I, you know, told you all, I'm not licensed to, to sell real estate, um, investment trust. Okay. I don't have a series six, seven and all this stuff like that. So I cannot give you any advice and I'm, I can't really even tell you how I actually make investments because then, you know, the hate has come out <laughs> for Mr. Aurora. <laughs> So we're not going to do that, but I just wanted to make it very clear that real estate investment trusts, I'm good, you know, are a very good thing for entrepreneurs when you're trying to build your business because you are guaranteed 90% of, of these real estate investment trust companies, they have to give out okay annually as a dividend so you're always going to come up especially you know once again do the research all right that's what miss aurora would 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 tell you to do okay because it's not advice <laughs> all right so you all know that oh here's the other thing that jasmine was concerned about because she has been watching us okay and she understands what we're saying about making the investments the secured way now i would say to all of the secured entrepreneurs here in the community 
as I said to Jasmine, no, I would not make any type of, like, I'm not going on to Robin Hood and things like that. No, no, no disrespect to Robin Hood or anything like that, okay, because I also use the platform, but I'm not using my personal bank accounts, you know, to make investments. I'm not, I'm not creating any taxable events for myself because, you know, what we teach here tax-free wealth that is available to anyone and everyone who chooses to participate in commerce, okay? So that means that you have to have the the properly structured a properly structured entity that you will use to make these investments okay so jasmine xxx would not would not you know hire a broker and start making these investments but maybe a company that jasmine owns would actually begin to make these investments and that is the proper way to come out here and make investments so that your wealth is secured and no one wants to give away half or you know whatever percentage wherever you are okay of of your profit to the internal revenue service and they they still love us <laughs> okay. all right the fourth type of right that i was discussing with jasmine that you did not see in that clip is the retail right so as you can guess these are the companies that own the shopping centers that you may frequent, the shopping malls that you may frequent, and they are paid by, uh, they get paid the rents of all of these stores who are in the malls and the shopping centers. And as we know, at this time, many of our major retailers have gotten caught up in the retail apocalypse. So if you have an interest in retail rights, you would definitely have to research the, the industry right now. And let Miss Aurora throw in a bonus. You know that we have the health care rights, and many of you may have interest in those simply because because these are companies that own or, or invest in uh, hospitals, nursing homes, um, medical centers. Uh, uh, what's the other one? What's the other one where you, they go there in the daytime? The assisted living facilities, things of this nature. So you may want to research that. So now on to the juice. Let's get into the juice. Number one, you heard Miss Aurora saying that rights are very attractive for investors because they have to give their shareholders 90% of their taxable income, okay, as a dividend annually, all right? Now, here's where the rubber meets the road, okay? The dividend is taxable for you. So it is taxed as ordinary income. When you draw down that dividend, you more than likely will have to pay taxes on it. Now, what do we teach here in the Secured Entrepreneur Movement? We teach you how to create tax-free wealth. That means that you will not willfully create taxable events for yourself, <laughs> okay? So that means that when you start these investment accounts, you will have the correct legal entities. Now you heard me say that in that clip. So what we're going to do now, because I know you have time for this conversation. <laughs> okay, Ms. Aurora is going to show you how you are going to start your investment account. And we're gonna use Vanguard as an example because we love Vanguard there. That Vanguard has some great products, okay? And uh, I'm making another video for you today. I don't know which one's gonna go up first, okay? Because you know how Mr. Aurora does. But I'm gonna really go in because many of you have already emailed saying, well, you want to invest with your stimulus check. You, you know, you're gonna make a different move and I'm happy to hear that. So, I, I mean, I'm going in, okay? So right now, let me take you to a clip on what it is that's going to happen when you get yourself onto the Vanguard platform. Okay, we are on the Vanguard website. This is Vanguard.com. And as you're going to see on the right, we have the option to pick personal investor, retirement plan participant, individual investors, financial professionals, or we can go to the global sites. For this, we're going to click on the personal investors because we're going to start a new account, all right? Now we come to this page and they're telling us that they're going to help us through uncertain times. And we're going to press open an account. Well, what would you like to do? Well, we told you we want to open up a new account. So we're gonna click on let's open up a new account. Now, how are you going to fund this account? Well, we're going to tell them that we're going to use an electronic bank transfer, all right? 
and then we're going to click continue. Okay, do you already have a login? No, we told you that we're new, so we're going to continue because we're new here. <laughs> so now they're going to let us know that in order for us to open an account, we're going to need our routing number and uh, to our bank, our bank account. And we're also going to need to let them know who our employer is, their name and the address, if that is applicable. Okay. Now the new account process, choose an account type. Again, individual, joint, trust. We are focusing on the trust. Okay. But I'm also going to point out the small business product simply because as we know now, many of us did not have a retirement plan for our small business, nothing that we could draw off of. Okay, nothing established. And so you may want to take a look at some of the products that Vanguard has for that. But right now, we're going to talk about opening this account with our trust simply because, as I stated, the dividends when they're drawn out will be taxable to you. We want the trust to take those dividends and allow the dividends to pass through to the beneficiary. Well, the beneficiary could be you. You could receive a tax-free gift from the trustee of your trust, okay? <laughs> and the, the beneficiary could be your limited liability company because it's all about setting up your wealth cycles correctly because this is, again, about growing your tax-free wealth. So as many entities as you have in your wealth cycle that are playing this game in commerce, that's how you want your money to flow, all right? And then they're telling us that when we complete this online application, it'll be about five to 10 minutes, and then we're gonna watch for a confirmation. Now, they're going to tell us once we choose trust that there are two ways to get this trust account open. So let's press continue and get on to the next page. All right, so select the account type you want to open. Well, we said general investing, individual, joint, or trust. That's what we're clicking. Okay, now we're going to come down here and we're going to choose trust. And they're telling us that the, this account is for general investing in the name of an existing legally established trust meaning that don't don't start trying to open up this account if you need somebody to create a trust for you you, you need to already have your uh legally established trust okay and if you need our assistance here's the telephone number now a lot of people are going to end up calling okay mr Rora had to end up calling uh for a variety of reasons because i had a lot of questions <laughs> okay okay so once we press the trust you'll see that they're going to give us a little message and the little message is going to tell us that there are two ways to open this trust. So let's press the button and then continue. And all right, here's the message. Two ways to submit your trust application. They're telling us that we can true indeed do this online. We can press continue and get the documents electronically and start the process, or we can do this by mail. We can view and print the documents and mail it in. Ms. Aurora's telling you now that either way you're going to open up this account. As you can see, when you press continue, okay, you're gonna come here. Your page is gonna be different. It just depends on what's happening. Uh, I, I found that I have help people do this a few times and there was some other stuff going on which is how we ended up calling okay so you want to have your business together call and open up your account so you all know if you need assistance with setting up these legal entities your llc's your trust things of this nature all the links are below so that you can get your strategy sessions your consultations and you all know you can find me miss aurora at AuroraDayConsulting.com. And until next time, ta-ta.